And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another week on the Healthcare Business Network. This is Ron Nyman at HBN Radio Show. Dot com. That's hbnradioshow.com. I want to welcome you all here to our second show of the year in 2011. We have some very informative and interesting topics to cover this evening with a terrific guest. Her name is Leslie Berkeheiser. And Leslie is a principal and founder of the Clayton Group and a partner with Integrity Solutions Group. They are both healthcare management consulting companies. She has over 25 years' experience in the healthcare industry, and she actively participates in the work group for electronic data interchange and strategic national implementation process. That's referred to as a WEDI, W-E-D-I. Ms. Berkeheiser is all, also a content contributor and creator of the HIPAA Privacy and Security Policy and Procedure Templates, and she also served as a content contributor for HIMSS, which stands for the Health Information Management and System Society, and she also serves as a board member for Private Plan. Leslie, I want to welcome you aboard to the HBN Radio Show. How are you? Thank you, Ron. It's a pleasure to be on your show today. Well, it's a pleasure to have you here. And today, folks, what we are going to be discussing with Leslie. Leslie, as I'm sure you probably figured out uh, from giving you her uh, past experience, is an expert in the area of health care privacy and security. So she is a privacy and security expert. And what we're going to be discussing today is in the area of the new high-tech regulations, and specifically what we're going to be discussing with high-tech because it is such a huge uh, act that it could take hours for us to go through everything, is going to be the area of breach. But the first thing I wanted to go through with you, Leslie, before we get to high-tech is just a little bit of background on HIPAA itself. Now, the HIPAA plans were, the HIPAA regulations were implemented back in 2003. Is that correct? That is correct. And HIPAA covered basically... What following areas in a nutshell? Well, uh, probably to boil it down to the three main categories, uh, the Health Insurance Portability Accountability Act in 1996 covered three main areas, and they began, um, it was first passed as law in 1996, and then implementation was required by 2003, as you had said, Ron. And that first phase was for transactions and code sets. And to speak of that concisely, that was the ability for our health data, our electronic information, to have the same format and content as it moves around in our healthcare system. That was transactions and code sets. That was followed uh, a little bit later by the privacy regulations. And the privacy regulations very much spoke to what information was expected to be covered or protected under HIPAA. And then two years after that, in the years of 2005 and 2006, our healthcare industry had to comply as well with the security regulations. And those were dealing primarily with the electronic mode of that health information. So now we get to high tech, okay? And high tech was, I believe, passed. Was it 08, 09? 09, February 2009. Okay, so we get to high tech. Now, what was high tech there to fill in that HIPAA didn't cover? Well, you know, remember back in 1996 and even in the early 2000 when HIPAA was being implemented, for the most part, across our typical providers' offices across the industry, um, in, in the medical field and medical care, you have paper charts or paper records. And so what has happened, of course, is technology continues to progress at lightning speed. And as high-tech came through, the high-tech focus was to strengthen privacy and security as it relates to all of our hospitals and doctors becoming users of electronic health records. So if you think about it this way, think of HIPAA as a law, and then we had regulations that told us what to do with that law, and those were transactions, code sets, security, and privacy. And then we had the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, which is a law which includes high-tech within it. And by the way, high-tech stands for the Health Information Technology for Economic and Clinical Health Act. 
And again, that's the part of the stimulus package that was passed in early 2009 that basically put billions of dollars into our health care system to help promote the automated and electronic use of health information. Now, one of the big um, issues that has come up, and you hear most doctors, practice administrators, hospital um, uh, administrators discussing, is the area of breach. Because I've, I've always felt from listening to that community that breach is what concerns them the most. Would you agree? I absolutely agree. So if we get into the area of breach, how do you define what breach is under the High Tech Act? And um, how what should providers be looking for in terms of determining, have I uh, encountered a breach in my practice? Well, but just before we actually define a breach, remember that high tech is built on top of HIPAA. And one of the things about HIPAA was that every covered entity or business associate, so when I talk about covered entities, I mean providers and health plans and clearing houses, or business associates, persons or organizations that do things on the behalf of the covered entities, and all of them are handling PHI, or protected health information. And so high tech is built on top of HIPAA. And what's happening is, is that high tech is actually strengthening the data as it becomes electronic. And so when we talk about a breach, we're actually talking about a breach or an inappropriate acquisition, access, use, or disclosure. It's really anything that is wrong with the use or disclosure of protected health information that an organization is handling. Leslie, we're going to get back uh, after a commercial break here. We're going to ask uh, Leslie some more questions about the different levels of breach. We're here at the HBN Radio Show at hbnradioshow.com, and we're going to take a break for our friends at Medistar. Are you looking for a billing company that can increase your revenue, effectively manage your credentialing, deliver the right software, and provide guidance in navigating the minefield of compliance? Medistar has been providing the right answers for hospitals and physicians for over 13 years. We go the extra mile by paying attention to the details and focusing on aggressive follow-up. Recognized for four straight years by Inc. Magazine, our professionals can help you attain your revenue cycle goals while helping to ensure that your work is done in a compliant manner. Call one of our experts toll-free at 888-423-8080. That's 888-423-8080. Or visit us at www.medistarbilling.com. 